Hello! Good morning. How you guys doing? Good afternoon. Really, it is. Is it afternoon? I think. It is past afternoon here. I haven't eaten yet. So, how you guys doing today? So, today I am showing my rear wheel drive Mercury Coupe 1949. I'm showing you my tune. Alright, we're going to take it out drifting. So, hopefully you guys enjoy. So sit back, eat some popcorn, and let's get to right into this thing. So, right over the bat, let's look at the picture. We got Hello Kitty riding a jumbo jet. Yeah. We'll go right in. Nice, comfortable seats right there. No seat belts. So, if you got into an accident, yeah, God be with you. Alright, let's start this thing up. Sounds mean. It's not as powerful as you think it is. But, um, it's still quite powerful. Wow, yeah, just do a nice little round. Got the little spare tire right there. Nice trunk space for all your luggage if you want to go out on a little trip. Nice, nice interior everywhere. Yep. All right, nice grill. Also says number one all wheel drive, rear wheel drive drift tuner. So uh, let's get right into it. All right, so upgrade shop, what did I do? Well, first it's a B-Class 599, okay? So engine I used was a 7.0 liter V8, all right, H. All right, of course I left it stock with the rear wheel drive. All right, I went with a supercharger. When you're doing rear wheel drive drifting, I'm telling you what, supercharger is your best bet. If you're having issues going around a corner and you feel like you're spinning out all the time, try a supercharger. That might fix your issue. All right, use the Mercury front by removing the bumper because now, who wants that big thing? So, and it saves weight. All right, and just stock back because I didn't want a spoiler back there. Okay, so just stock on, on that. Tires, on this one is drag tires. All right. Now, as you can see, they're thin. You can use these, you know, if you really want to. But today we're using drag tires. All right, stock front. 185 and 185 in the rear for stock also okay and then of course you know I like to use my favorite rims you can use any rims you want but these ones work the best for me race clutch race transmission race drive line and race differential we got race brakes race springs race anti-roll bars for the front race anti-roll bars for the rear no roll cage and weight reduction at full okay now this is this is the key for this one so stock intake okay stock carburetor sport ignition race exhaust Sport camshafts and valves. Stock valves. Stock engine block. Stock pistons. Race supercharger. No intercooler, so stock. No no you know just stock oil cooling so none of that don't even have to buy any of that all right and a race flywheel so let's go right into a test drive on it let's take it on a on a fun track let's take it on the classic this is one of my favorite tracks um to test out a lot of my rear wheel drive cars and that's where i figure out if it's good or not
So here we go. And after this, then I'll shade the tune. Got some hefty tire uh, wheel spin there. This, you can just baby it. really showing you what I'm doing with my steering wheel. I'm turning the way I'm drifting. And that really helps. Oh, get out there. There you go. Control. All right, what we pull. Fifty-four thousand, not bad. Now, if I was outside my car, I'd probably hit a little higher than that. But yeah, fifty-four thousand is a really good number. Now, what do you guys pull in rear-wheel drive on this track? Um, you know, that's for like all oh, like the starters, you know. So let's get right into the tune and show you guys what I did to it. So yes, we have drag tires. A lot of my other road drives actually have stock, but this one has drag tires. So, all right. So, flat, flat, all right, to, to give it some grip, because, I mean, it is still a big vehicle. Okay. Here's my, my gearing of what I've done to my rear-wheel drive. All right. And here is my alignment. Now, Michael and I have been talking about, you know, the positive. Well, yeah, positive is the way to go. It's easy, and it's a video game. Make it easy. Don't make it difficult on yourself. You know, you, you want to drift. You, you want to get first place. You want to you have fun. You want to be able to control your vehicle. This is the alignment to use. This alignment works perfect, all right, for your front, wheel, front engine rear wheel drive setups you got the supercharger on it you got it made make it easy on yourself don't make it tough all right anti-roll bars so that's my numbers for the anti-roll bars they're exactly the right number i need them to be yep but if you you know what you do is if you can't get them you know that's okay as long as you get them close to those numbers you'll be fine all right, my springs, 955 in the front, 936 in the rear, just to give the rear just a little bit more softer uh, so I can so I can scoot around the corners. All right, see this? See, if I move that, it'll go down. I, I don't really want a bigger rear end. I just want it to be stable and even. All right, oh, there's a name I haven't seen for a while, Sam Z. Wow, long time. All right, dampening. All right, 10.0, 10.0, soft, soft. Yep. So, 
Uh, if you really need to, you can always read the description that's on the side. All right. So for the front, you can read that and you can see what I'm doing here and you can read this one too and see the differences. All right. Not going to get into it. All right. No, no downforce. None, none of that. Uh, a lot of people like their, their rear wheel drives that have downforce. If, if you absolutely must, and I highly, you know, say don't do it. Take the, just do the rear and put it all the way down the speed. You know, if you've got 75 pounds on, on it, 110, just keep it down there. All right, so no, no touches to um, the braking. The, the vehicle didn't need it. Um, I, didn't, I didn't see a, um, an improvement. Um, I've tried my 30 to the rear, my 70 to the front with 130% pressure, and the car just acted up too much. So I just put it right back to stock, and it works perfect. All right, and then um, my rear acceleration, deceleration, I maxed them out. I want that thing high. All right, I don't want any, uh, I don't want any locking. I want it to be open. I want to just flow smoothly on the track so and there you have it so and that is my real wheel drive mercury coupe so hopefully you guys enjoyed this this um educational video and um hey whatever cars you would like to see um please let me know um i like in messages you can always you know message on youtube you can also um just send me a message through king posh and just tell me what they are and maybe i'll even throw you a throw out a shout out like michael michael's amazing michael weinsberg uh he he and i have been friends since i started um uh, he's a great guy so uh you know make sure you just subscribe to him i don't think he makes any videos or not but you still just do it for me all right, and he's cool. So, and then um, there's also Gage uh, Loga. I think that's how you say his name. Um, so, you know, subscribe to him. Um, ask him for a, you know, like a friend request. He's a real cool kid on, um, on Xbox, and he drifts, and he's been using my tunes and been putting it on, on himself and tweaking, really getting into it. So, good for him. So... That's that's all that's really been like messaging um, on my on my feeds. So I mean, if you say something, you know, nice and everything else, I will say your name in my uh, in my videos. So shout out to all of you. All right, oh. uh, Jordan Moore also. Five days ago, he, he said he wanted he was the one who won the uh, the Nissan 370 and the um, the Honda S2000. So hey, shout out to you, my friend. You're a good person. Keep it up. All right, you guys. Well, hey, thanks for watching. Peace.